What's up YouTube? It's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So in today's episode, I'm going to be going to the Skull Hill Archery Shop to shoot a bunch of bows. Uh, these are all top of the line bows and uh, I'm kind of just shopping for a new bow. Um, and I'm just trying to get a feel for the different brands that are out there. So I don't really do a whole lot of homework on different bows. Uh, so basically I just went there, Brandon just handed me bows and said, try this one. I think you'll like it. Um, so I didn't really know much about them to begin with. Obviously when I put the video together, I looked up the specs and put them on there, but I really didn't know any of that stuff when I made the video. Uh, this is gonna be a super raw, very little editing. It's me and John shooting these bows um, and Brandon, and we're just talking about what we think of them. Uh, so if you're looking for a um, no BS, uh, honest opinion, this is the video you're looking for. Now it is a little bit long because there's really no editing. Uh, so if you want to skip ahead to different bows, I'll put down in the description the timestamps of the different bows that I was shooting. Uh, but I really suggest that you watch all of them because you get kind of a comparison of a, a bunch of the you know, best quality bows that you can get on the market right now. So go check it out. Uh, if you like it or if you don't like it, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, and if you want to support our channel just a little bit more, consider checking out our Patreon page. There's a card right up here. You can click on that. Uh, there you can become a member to support the channel. Uh, or you could just go to our merch store uh, and buy some cool merch. There's a link down in the description. So go check that out. We'd really appreciate it. Now let's get to the video. That is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. So the first bow I'm shooting is this bow right here. This is the Bear Alaskan. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of their new bows in their new lineup. Um, so I don't really know anything about it. I don't know what the price point on this is, but I do know that it's a good looking bow. Not that that really matters, but it matters a little bit. So it's a good looking bow. The first thing that stands out to me is that it is really top heavy. Um, and it might just be because there's a lot going on here. We got this trophy ridge um, adjustable sight right here. And we got the, the quiver on there. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. And also we just have this tiny little uh, stabilizer here. So just because of that, that might be the reason that it feels real top heavy to me. Because I usually do run a really big uh, stabilizer as well as a, a sidebar that comes back a little ways. So the weight's usually down low on my bow, so whatever. Let's just shoot it and see how it feels. I don't, oh, there it is. That's how, I'm taking this off just because I feel like there's so much weight up top and it's making it really hard to pay attention to anything other than that weight. Now it feels a lot better. So let me send one more. One thing I noticed about the draw cycle, and you can probably see that when I'm drawing back on this thing, it's, um, <clears throat> there's like a pretty sharp valley. And when I get to the back wall, <clears throat> it like, it like suddenly jumps into the back wall. I don't like that. It's not smooth at all. Um, I don't know. I'm really not liking the feel of this boat. So let me do it. See that, that valley right there? Like, it's pretty aggressive. Like the back walls are pretty aggressive. Like it wants to jump out of your hand. Like right there, right 
right there, it's real heavy. And it just like pops in. I mean, actually, the, the execution, like, there's a lot of vibration in there. It's real jumpy. That's the first thing that stands out to me. I don't know. I'm gonna shoot something else. My first impression of this bow, not the best. Let's go find something else to shoot. So the next bow we got up, this is the Matthews, uh, what is it, the V3X. This is like their newest bow for 2022. Every, you know, everybody's always real excited about Matthews coming out with a new bow. I will say that for the most part, uh, there's nothing particularly new about the technology on this bow. The cams are the same, uh, you know, the limbs are the same. They've done a few things like, for instance, um, the dovetail for the sight. You can see that. It actually goes straight into the riser. Um, so that's like something new that they did. It just makes it so that everything's not off to one side of the bow, everything's more centered, so it's supposed to help with the balance. The other thing they did is the, the quiver. Um, again, it's like real tight to the bow. It's pulled in real close. Uh, and the whole point of that is that you don't have weight hanging on either side of the bow. But that said, um, I've heard really great things about this bow. Um, and I've always liked the way that a Matthews executes but I've never shot this one, so let's shoot it and see what we think of it. So I will, the first thing I will mention is this thing feels more balanced in my hand uh, right off the bat. Now I will say that this Matthews is $1,200, $1,300. That uh, Bear Alaskan is a $550 bow, so we're talking about a completely different class of bow here, uh, but this does feel a little more balanced. Let's see how it feels while shooting. Oh God, that's heavy. Execution, very dead in the hand. But I don't like, I don't necessarily like the draw cycle. Let me do one more. It's real heavy up front, and then it loosens up quite a bit towards the back. Do a couple more. So one thing I really like that I do like about this bow, the execution. When you execute that shot, it feels so smooth, so dead in the hand. It just feels right. It's like when you release an arrow, when you take a shot, and the, the shot just feels right. Like you know before it hits a target that it is money. That's how the shots feel when I'm executing this. And granted, I'm shooting at like five yards, not even four yards. Um, and, and I'm not even aiming at anything. But the fact is that the, the shot just feels solid. Um, and that gives me confidence that if I was shooting this at a longer distance, that I would at least feel uh, confident in this bow's performance. But the draw cycle, I'm not a huge fan of. Again, like I said, it's real tight up front, right here. And then back here, it comes loose. Now, I've heard that if you let down on this bow, that it's just like if you even let a little bit go, that it just wants to go. Oh, I don't know. I feel like I'm not even pulling that hard and it's like not going. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I don't know what the let off on this thing is. Let me find out. 
Hey, Brandon. Yeah, I mean, I, I know like everybody says that a Matthews is like real aggressive coming off the back wall and it wants to be like snatch it out of your hands. I just tried to let it down. I'm like, oh, I'm actually like real surprised at that. But then once it, once you get to where it goes, it goes. Like the draw cycle on this thing is like heavy up front. Mm -hmm. And then it slips off the back. Yeah. And I, honestly, that's where you want it to be. Because all your strength's in the beginning, not yeah. the back. You try to pull all that bow weight in the back, you just have to get over the edge. You gotta shoot it the same, man. It is nice. I like So, all right, guys. So this is the uh, the same bow. Is it the V3X? Yeah, it is. So this is the same bow with 29 inch axle to axle. So a much smaller bow. Let's see how different it is. Oh God! <laughs> oh my God! Is this sized for a midget? Is this sized for a midget? Very, it gives it a very different feel on that draw cycle. That's what happens. Your smaller axle axles, so you're going to have to load up and you're not having any levers to help you. So yeah. You have to pull back in that pound as long. That's the reason why they generate more speed. Yeah. They make it harder of a draw. Yeah. I've been having wet dreams about this bow for a long time. I'm so excited to shoot it. Listen, it's a good bow and it's a fast bow. You just have to know what you're feeling when you pull this bow flat. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's very stable. It's a very, very stable bow. We're at 70 pounds. Want to back it off some? Because it'll, I mean, it's an 80 pound model. It'll back it off just like a tickle. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm usually shooting 58, so shooting these 70s, I'm on <laughs> it. I can feel it. The next bow, this is a PSE. This is uh, Brandon's. Favorite brand. <laughs> but this bow right here is a bow that I've been dreaming about. This is, what is this, the Levitate? The Levitate. It is uh, all carbon fiber. It weighs nothing. And I like that because the bow I shoot right now is also carbon fiber. So, so we're going to shoot it and we're, we're going to see uh, if I like it. Brandon's sitting here with a smile on his face. He thinks I'm going to hate it. Alright. What is this thing set to you right now? Try right 60 pounds. Right around 60. Am I supposed to hate that? Yeah. <laughs> Not that you hate it. So the draw cycle that you can feel at this point, you see that there's no load up at the front. You load right before you peek over. It's actually back. like, yeah, it's kind of like a So building. it's that ramp system that I'm talking about. It's like, get it, get it, get it, get it, dump. This, feels, this? A, this feels a lot like the cycle on my current bow, so like it's just something I'm really used to and it's comfortable. Guys that have a struggle with wanting it to be comfortable from A to B want that load in the front to zip in the back. So when they get started, it just goes right in. Guys that don't care, like I don't mind that draw cycle at all. Like it's something okay. I can manage, but some people don't. So it's a real it, favor to the person. But let me tell you, that puppy right there is sitting way harder than those are heavier arrows too. Those that's are like 400 something grain arrows. That's scoop. 450, 460. So, and it's getting. I want to shoot it again. I want to shoot it again. I do want to shoot that, like the bow that Danny has, because I'm real curious, because you guys keep talking about. Yeah. Well, I've got something that's got similar cam system I'm going to try. Yeah, like you guys keep talking about how smooth that is. I want to feel it. Like, but I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not mad at, at this. Danny yeah. is a 32. He's a 32. Like, I mean, this this feels great, and I, I, I honestly love the way the boat feels, which I'm kind of annoyed about because it's expensive as hell. <laughs> so that eight, it's an $1,800 boat. Ain't no joke. Yeah. 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 But you re watching that video, then you'll, you re watch your own video, and you'll see when the dump and the back wall gets aggressive. So if you don't have a problem with that, then put, let it ride. But if you want no, to I mean, no, it doesn't feel like, I feel like with the Matthews, or, 
Well, I guess with the Matthews, especially the 29 inch, but uh, but also with that bare Alaskan, it's a real aggressive dump at the end. With this, like there's a dump, but it doesn't feel like a jerk. Like it's just kind of like, all right, here comes the dump, and there it is. You know, it's not like a thump. So like, I feel like it's very manageable. And note that this is the reason why you have to come and shoot it, because everyone has a different opinion on how that feels. Oh, it's there, buddy. You're not, you're not, you know. I know, I'm just like, trying, I'm trying to let down. I'm like, this is, oh, there it goes. <laughs> It like won't, it won't go, it won't go, and that's then it's like, I'm out of here! That's the beauty and curse of a high let off, buddy. You can sit there Is this a 90? It might be. 90% let off? Yep, that's at 90%. So this, I see the little knock-on sign here. Is this thing my jiggers about? It's Deadly's version. It's Deadly's version. That's the, the, the lineup that he's got right now. Deadly knock-on. Yeah. 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 I'm not mad at it. Like, it's something I can definitely get used to. Damn it. <laughs> oh, see that? I mean, maybe it's just because it's 60. That, that drive didn't bother me at all. No, it's, at, it's at 60, though. I'm telling you, at 80? Like, shoot, it's really nice. No. The, the thing is, though, the good thing about it is this goes so fast, you don't need to have that high power to get that performance. Yes. Yeah. So it makes it nice because if you just want to have like a 60 pound bow, oh, it shot really nice. Shoot other, other it shoots shooters. real nice. I like this one. But keep in that. mind, I'm just telling keep you, mind, like, keep this in mind. <coughs> that bare Alaskan, which you didn't shoot, uh -huh. 550 bucks, you mm -hmm. said. Then the Matthews, 1200 bucks. Mm -hmm. So we just doubled, and now we go up another bare Alaskan to <laughs> get to this one. Exactly. This is this is three. God, it feels good. And this it, is it, and three barrel askings that you're holding. like. Maybe that was. Oh, we had the quiver on that Matthews, didn't we? Okay, because it, it wanted to come down like, like a weird angle yeah, for yeah. me. And this one just Sits. feels He's real nice. He's done a lot of engineering with the guys to get that thing to where it shoots like that. I mean, it is it is a neat neat little deal. That's that's a cool that's bow. That's a sweet bow. You said yeah, 1200. Yeah, 18. 18. So the idea that little, ouch, that's too little. much. 1200 maybe. <laughs> All right, y'all, next bow. This is a Athens Vista 35. I don't even know about Athens. I mean, I've heard the brand before, but I really haven't done any homework on them. So I don't really know a whole lot about this bow, and I specifically told Brandon not to tell me anything until after I've shot it, because I want to get, you know, a unbiased opinion on this. Um, so just real quick, I mean, it's a solid riser, it's relatively heavy, but it does feel really balanced, so. Yeah, I'm not mad about it. And it's a cool design, it's a good looking bow. Again, doesn't matter, but it matters. Send an arrow, see what we think. And once again, if you guys are interested in any of these bows, you can find all of them here. It's Skull Hill Archery. And Brandon's got a crap load of bows here that you can come in and shoot just like I'm doing right now, just so you can try them out. So let's give this a try. I don't know what the poundage on this is. I think it's 70. Let's see what happens. Oh my God. That is freaking smooth. I think I love this bow. So the draw cycle on this, it's like there's no humps, nothing. It just feels like the same exact weight the entire way back. I wonder what the let off is like, like if I try and come off the back wall, what it's gonna do, let's find out. All right, I'm starting to let down a little bit, starting to let down. It's actually pretty smooth. It definitely doesn't jump. But God, that draw cycle. I mean, you can see that. It barely has any humps in it. Right at the end, there's a little bit of a bump, but nothing too crazy. And that 
execution is beautiful. Shoots real nice. I'm, uh, I'm ready for you to come over here and tell me about what I'm shooting. Brandon's over setting up another bow for me that he wants me to shoot. So I guess I'll have to shoot this thing again. There's like no vibration in that. And there's not even a stabilizer or anything. There's nothing there to absorb that. I mean, granted, there's these little rubber thingies and whatever, but that doesn't do a whole lot. That might be ruining me. What the hell am I shooting? <laughs> That's Atkins, baby. That is their new RTX cam. And let me tell you, when I, when I say that this bow is phenomenal, you know, Athens has been around quite a bit, and what uh, Jim and Tracy are doing up there at Athens is just, they just keep giving over and over again, just a better and better product for using archery. So what you have here is a binary cam system, top and bottom match each other. And you have the strings on each side of the cam, so you have that load even. Uh, you have a nice like cam and a half kind of like cam hatchet design, so it's a smooth draw and it sits in the back wall. They give you a 90, 85, or 80 percent let off here. So What's it at right now? I think it's at it's at number one, so you're at 90 percent. Okay. So you got as much as you want to get in that. No, I think that's. Hang I on. mean, let me read it again. No, it's number two. You're at 85. 85. You can go right. more or you can go less. Mm -hmm. um, but this is this is one of the ones that I was playing with and trying to you know let people kind of see and stuff like that. Um, had a guy interested in it, so it went back so on the wall. What's the price point on this? Uh, they're they're dancing right around a thousand fifty. Yeah, I mean, I don't know anything about Athens. Like I've heard the name, yeah. but well, this is their new Vista series, and they launched that last year, and then they upgraded a lot of stuff this year. This cam is literally, and Jim and Tracy, if you ever watch, you'll know, you'll say that I'm true. This is what's put them on board. They have made some amazing bows, but this cam design, being rotational mods and everything on it, this has put them in the limelight like some, some serious. I mean, like, the thing that immediately stands out, like, the first time I drew it back, if you, if you, you'll see. I if you watch it's super this, smooth. I just, I literally drew it back and I went, what the <laughs> heck? Like, there's, no, there's no humps or bumps or anything. Like, just no. watch when I draw back. It's Very just smooth. like nothing, Woo! nothing, and then right at the end it just pops right in there. Oh, that looked real smooth. Oh, yeah. It's so freaking smooth. It's solid. And the execution's real smooth. <coughs> real smooth love, too. love, love. What's this set as? A 60? 60. Okay, I was gonna say, if, like, I pulled it back on. This is so freaking so easy. At 35, again, you have leverage, just like yeah. any longer bow, so you have a lot of that in your favor. So 60, you could probably pull 65 and be right where you want to be. Yeah. Now, obviously, the shorter you go, the more intense it gets, but <clears throat> this little bow here, like I said, it's little bow. Yeah, I mean it's not really a little bow. It's a 35 inch axle axle. Yeah. But the cool thing about it is, like I said, you can do both. You could target shoot. You could hunt with that. It's like an all purpose deal. Well, and the, the interesting thing to me is that, like, even though it's 35 inch, like it doesn't feel that big. No, they they do they do a dang good job there, Adam. You gotta shoot this thing. I'm gonna shoot this thing. <laughs> I got an 80 pounder and don't want to go to work. Uh, <laughs> I kind of do actually. I, you don't want to do well, that to hey, your let's, shoulder. Let's just rip it. I mean, let's try it. <laughs> I'll, frig, I'll try once. I'll try it. Mean. Oh my gosh, it feels like it felt like nothing. Kind of scares the crap out of me that he's on, on the trigger as he draws back. <laughs> he's he's, he's <laughs> Dude, do this. I'm going to try this 80. Alright, like I said, don't hurt yourself. Make sure this is a two Take it right point. to the hospital. Yeah, that'll do it. You know, I can take it to the hospital. I know how to. I mean, as smooth it is as as this can system is, like that's the only reason I'm willing to try it's just, it. It's, it's it intensifies greatly. Just take the little launcher. It's like you're going up twenty pounds. Oh, okay, I got you. <clears throat> yeah, twenty pounds is a big jump. It's a big jump. <laughs> I'll shoot that out of the way. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> But you got it. That's a plum. <laughs> she 
It's all right, it's all right it's there. there. <laughs> it's all fun and game until you really can't shoot to the so. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm just gonna pull into it and see what it feels like. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> That's a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh god. You almost had it. I'm not doing I, I can feel it. Yeah, if I push, if I push that, I'm gonna hurt myself. Don't do it. Don't not do doing it. it. Okay, this is the NXT 33. This is my this is my book. Okay. This is okay. like like that's the same model that I've got. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. What is the poundage on this thing? Sixty. All right. Just yeah, prepare I myself next I got it set for you, man. <laughs> All right. So this is the one that's supposed to be buttery smooth. Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Damn it! I hate it when people like just like like just hype something up so much and then they're right. I hate that. I hate it. I'm sorry. Ah, screw that. <laughs> oh, that is so smooth. So I'm joking because so this cam system can is is available on that same carbon one that I shot, oh, but wow. but that was the Levitate, which is a really aggressive cam system, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's one called the Mach One. It's the same carbon riser, but it has the same cam system. This thing is smooth. I love this it. thing is oh my god. I, love I mean that Athens is bad, yes. but this thing. They're both real nice. Yeah, I mean, that Matthews shoots great. Like, you cannot go wrong with that Matthews, but it doesn't even compare to this. I, but I let the bow speak, but I don't, I don't try to favor anything. Dude, like that. that is sick. Yep. Okay. That's it, bro. All right, show me the new one. So this is the new one. Now, this is going to be kind of like one of those deals. What's cool about this, though, is they have three different cam configurations. So this is like that's older, you know, newer brother. Yeah. Both 33, both seven inch brace height. This comes in with the E2 cam, which is like the draw cycle on the Levitate. Right. You can have it with the EC cam. So if you like this cam, you can get this new model design with this cam on it, which is superb. Or you can this have is, it, the E2 is faster. This is the faster yeah. one. So if you're in for speed, this is it. And it's not aggressive. It's, it's aggressive than more aggressive than this, but it's not incredibly bad. You know, it's it's not like it's a bad system. I mean, like I said when I shot that Levitate, like it didn't feel like it wasn't uncomfortable. Right. Like it was definitely more aggressive than this. Right. But this is your silky smooth. Get yeah. it done. This this is the one that I fell in love with. This is the more you know you know faster model. Um, and then like I said, it comes with an S2 cam, which is supposed to be for short draw grads that want performance for short draw. Right. But I mean, the fact that they're running three different cam configurations on similar model design like this, I mean, it just, you know, it, to me, it's a, it's a way to go. What's the price point on these things? So these ones now, I believe, are somewhere close to that 1150, 1200. These were being sold at, and 2020 before all the inflation stuff happened, was like 1,050. Okay. 1,050, 1100. So, and, and this one's not going to be available anymore? They don't have... So, they're, they're so, it, so like I said, they'll have... Th this is to be the one that you can get. So, this will be, like I said, the Evo XF 33, because I got a 30-inch model. So, I got a 33, which I favor the 33. Uh, but they do have it where you can have that configuration of the EC cam or the E2. If you're looking for something silky smooth, you go with the EC. If you want something that's a little bit more, you know, speed-wise, you go with the E2 cam. Yep. So, I, I like this. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I like this. Good stuff. You can't go wrong with it, man. Yeah. Now, and, and like I said, I mean, listen, I'm when it comes down to bow companies, I, I think everyone's doing a very good job of what they're bringing to the table. Some just seem to excel in certain areas. And I think where PSE is bringing to the table is they're giving you just performance after performance and something that is not going to kill you to get that performance. 
very similar to what you feel in that Athens. That Athens right. is a very smooth bow, and right. PSE has just been taking this, this, this cam design, when they launched it back <clears throat> when the Evolve bow came out like five, six years ago. And I'm like, this is going to be a cam that's going to revolutionize what PSE does, and it's going to be a benchmark for a lot of people. Yeah. And it's just been proven over and over again. They took, changed the rider's design, changed the limbs, changed everything just to make you a better bow every year. But this cam has been phenomenal. And then they just come up with that same kind of design and say, hey, we can get a little bit more. So what's the what's the speed on like this versus this, like ballpark? So you're looking at between... Like how much faster does that cam design get you? Well, this is supposed to, if you go by their specs, you know, this was supposed yeah. to be 340, and that was like 330. Okay. So it's like a 10 to 11 feet per second difference. What okay. we've been able to see so far is like my the Mach 1 that I originally had, um, was an 80 pound Mach 1 shooting a 445 grain arrow. It was shooting at 332 feet per second. The Levitate at the same everything shoots it right at 340, 341. So it's relatively that 10 feet per second difference. So That's not worth it to me. I'd rather have oh, it no. smooth. Yeah. But again, that all depends upon the person. Like this is where I'm getting at. So at 80 pounds, you know, I get more. But I can turn this down to seven. I'm never shooting an 80 pound. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, like, I can only give you a testimony of what yeah. I've done. But I should be able to take this and turn the poundage down and get the same thing as what I was doing at the full poundage. Right. So the idea of this is not that you run it at 80. It's the fact that you can have a lower poundage bow and be as efficient yeah. as your higher pound. So that's where you're getting at. Draw cycle is a big deal. Like, if you like the super smooth, I still tell you to go to this one. But yeah. I'm planning on taking this one and not run it eighty. I'm running to run it at seventy five and hope to get the same speeds as these ones do. Yeah. So then I can be easier on my draw cycle, easier on my shoulder, but still get me that pipe and speed yeah. that I like. And still be performance, because we've still got a, a wider limb pocket, wider limbs with this cam and everything, and the fact that they got this BPTS system in here, which is a tunable yoke system, mm -hmm. makes it easier to tune and stay in tune. So there's a bunch of little things that go along with it that makes it nice. Plus the cable guard system on this one and the cable guard system on this one is Totally different. Instead of rotating and this little carbon rod bending, they now have it enclosed in here and it stays. So there's a couple little variations that change and make it a little bit better. Cool. Yeah, man. I like it. Uh -huh. Do we have anything else we need to shoot? Uh, you pretty that, much run our gauntlet, bro. <laughs> like all the good ones. Yeah. I mean, there's some but good the only other one is the, is the Bowtech line. You haven't, you haven't tried that one. Right. Should I try those? Well, I mean, maybe, if, if you're maybe gonna, another day. If you're going to do a due diligence, I would say at least give one of them. All right, I'll give one of them a whirl. <laughs> Why not? So, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. There it is. I, 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 I was away from it. What are you talking about? No, no, no. no I was away from that. Like your reaction to it. Oh. Yeah, it I thought you were telling me I did it wrong again. The reason why I like that model so much is because not only does it draw action, but your hand placement is more forward. So the bow is not going to wiggle out of your hand. Yeah, I think the, the one thing I don't Now that you know what to expect on that draw cycle, you got to do it one more time. Because like, I, did, I had the same thing, I did it and I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely a little bit of a surprise. Is it this one's at 60? Yeah. 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 Oh, that felt so harsh. It's a little bit short, but... It feels really nice. It needs a little weight forward for me, but. Well, there's no weight on it. See the stabilizer hole on the bottom? Yeah. Put the mass weight lower below, so lower. it's a little more centered. And you don't have to put it out as far? Mm -hmm. Like I said, I mean, they're just knocking out of the park by that kind of design. What do you think about that, though? I would, I would shoot this, though. 100%. And I didn't say that about any of the other ones. <laughs> and I wasn't even really a huge PSC fan. I mean, just personally. All right. Last bow we're going to shoot. This is the Bowtech SR350. I'm going to guess by the name that it shoots 350 feet per second. I didn't turn that down, so that's 70. Is it 70? That's fine. Right. That's all right. I can handle it. Yeah. It's all good. All right. I don't know anything about this bow, but I do like Bowtechs. I shoot Bowtech right now, and they're usually real smooth, so let's, let's find out. Mm hmm. So it went back like butter. It's yeah, it's pretty smooth. Um, let me do that one more time yeah. before I give any kind of uh, feedback on it.
Yeah, it's a real smooth draw on the right, like right in the back there, like pops. But it's not uncomfortable at all. You just know that you're there. Let me see how it comes out if I draw if I take it down. <laughs> Why is it not going? What? Dude, this is so weird. The let off has got to be so high on this. Like, I felt like, is it 90% on this thing? It's supposed to be eight, an efficient 85. It's crazy. Like, I, I was like, why is it not going forward? They say 80, but it's more 85. Yeah, like, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. Thing definitely screams. Sends it down there, buddy. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. You want to shoot it? Sure. Why not? <laughs> He's like that eighty pounder ruined me. It's <laughs> close. <laughs> That's what was wrong. Yeah. What do you think? It was. Actually, real smooth. Um, it yeah. fired good. I've never fired a bow tech before. I don't know. You can fire a bow? Yeah, you can. We'll talk. <laughs> they call it a dry fire? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. No, but, but seriously, what, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, you got nothing to say, right? I, 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 nothing bad to say, for sure. But nothing good, right? Uh, I don't know. That's kind of how I felt about it. Yeah, I didn't have anything like... It just didn't like, it wasn't like, whoa. No, it wasn't like, whoa. Yeah. It but was it, fast, it shot good, it was a good, good bow, but like, just nothing spectacular. Alright. Well, guys, that's all we got for you today. I um, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you got any questions, I'm going to put all the uh, information about these bows down in the description. Uh, and again, I don't really know anything about these bows going into it. I didn't really do any homework, and I wanted it that way because I want to give you guys uh, as honest an opinion as possible. But what was your favorite one? <laughs> that levitate. You like the levitate? Oh, I didn't. That think, thing, I, mean, I that didn't thing think was, I was gonna like that it. That thing was bad for sure. Like if if I was gonna choose a speedy bow, it would be that levitate. That but uh, comfort one. That Athens shot really nicely. The Athens well. was awesome too. Like if if I went. Comfort wise, it's 100% that that EVL NXT 33. That thing's badass. And I then the that. Athens was just definitely the second most comfortable. And honestly, like I felt like that Levitate was sort of like the next most comfortable because I guess the rest of the bows we shot were speedy bows, right? And it's like, like Matthews is there that's a just go to. Camera. Yeah, but that's just like. And then you had the boat but they're like on. the rest of them were pretty aggressive cam systems, and of those, I felt like the Levitate was like the least aggressive, even though it's give or take. I mean, that's just the way it felt mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's the reason why you got to shoot them. Like, yeah. I can't stress it enough because I would say you have an aggressive cam system in the Levitate because of the way that it ramps up, it, yeah. real smooth on the beginning, and it builds up a little and bit when you have to pop over. So yeah. that's where I would consider, call it aggressive. Where I like the feeling of the NXT, the e is EC, e, the EC cam, because you got all that load in the front, and it just goes silk to the back. You yeah. Know? Nothing there to hump and dump, it just boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Same thing with Athens, where it's just full back, locking. Like Athens is like real smooth. Yeah. So it's Athens kind nice of gives though. you a bit of everybody, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Athens is going to be a real, people really need to take, in, in Florida, there's not a lot of Athens dealers. And you really need to take your chance and go and shoot at Athens, because they're a company that not a lot of people know about, but it's a dang good one. Yeah. yeah. I'd never heard of it until today. Yep. Yeah. So with that in mind, guys, you know, Brandon's a dealer of like all kinds of different brands. So you can come here, yeah. shoot a bunch of bows. He's got a ton of stuff in stock. And, you know, as you've seen today, like this is just how he is. It's not just because I'm swamping stuff. Like this is yeah. how he is with all his customers. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, come. Come check out his shop, shoot some bows, and you can really choose what fits you, nice. not just what looks the coolest That's or right. what sounds the coolest. Or what your mother, brother, sister shooting. <laughs> and also, he's going to have that new PSE here pretty soon. Yeah, the new PSE, so. I've got it. The, the XF, we're going to end up putting the stuff on that. We have an inline from Prime coming in, hopefully, in the next couple weeks. shoot that thing. And then uh, the refine from Bear. Yeah. So I'm coming back for those. Yeah. So stay yeah. tuned, guys. There's going to be more of these bow videos. It is gear season after all. Heck so. yeah. <laughs>